Hello, I'm Lucas from DW Travel and today I'm in Oberammergau in Bavaria and let me tell you, strange things are going on here. This one's from Hungary, Italy. This one's from Norway, from Switzerland, Austria, Czech Republic, from Germany. Visitors from all over the world come to Oberammergau for a play that is only performed every 10 years. Because of the pandemic, it's now been 12 years. There are no actual actors on the stage, instead it's the people of Oberammergau themselves. Did you see that? Many men have long hair and beards. This is mandatory for everyone who takes part in the play. When was your last time at the hairdresser? For... Christmas 2020, oh, for three years ago, two years ago, I saved money. I haven't cut my hair for ages. I trimmed it three years ago. What's your role here? Temple guard. I play a high priest who condemns Jesus. I'm one of the two people playing Jesus. Congratulations! <laughs> Can I take a selfie with Jesus? Sure. <laughs> you might have guessed it. The people of Oberammergau bring the life and suffering of Jesus to the stage. And they've been doing it for almost 400 years. The Passion Play is a world hit. Anyone who was born in Oberammergau or has lived here for 20 years can take part in it. We're not talking about 10 or 20 people here. There are around 2,000 people participating. It's a big show and I really have to see that. Luckily, I have a ticket. So let's go in. We just have to follow the crowds. By the way, the performance lasts more than five hours, but there's a long intermission in between. I'm really excited. The so-called Festspielhaus was specially built for the Passion Play. 4,500 people fit in the auditorium. On the stage, there is room for 600 performers. And then it starts. The people flock to the temple in Jerusalem. You don't have to be a Christian to be drawn into the story. Jesus also arrives at the temple. Do you recognize him? That's the guy I took a selfie with. Hört mich an! Ist das Gottes Haus oder ist es ein Marktplatz? It alternates between acting and singing. Only people from Oberammergau sing in the choir. Hinaus mit dem Mann! Das darfst du nicht! Hinaus! Hinaus! Raus! The passion of the participants is very impressive. I have to keep reminding myself that these are amateurs on stage here, not trained actors. There are books in various languages for non-German speakers to read along and follow what's happening. But the most emotional moment is certainly the crucifixion scene. Es ist vollbracht. What do you think of the Passion Play? Really beautiful. It felt real. The link between the Old and New Testaments, the music, the acting, the set. It was all great. It's just incredible actors. The, the music is outstanding. It's just, it's very emotional. I love it. It takes a couple of hours. Do you think it's too long from time to time or was it all right? No, not at all. Time went rather quickly because you were so engaged in the moment. You understood the story and it just moved it along. It was, it was incredible. It was very passionate. That's what a play. What dedication. It's our first time here. 
and the third time for our friends, we were really moved. We shed a tear or two and got goosebumps many times. Incredible. Visitors flock to buses, hotels and restaurants. Meanwhile, I'm meeting in the theater's dressing room with one of the actors, Walter Rutz. You were born in Oberammergau. How many passion plays has it been for you? Seven. Is there a dream role? Do the little boys in Oberammergau say, I want to be Jesus one day? Nah, no. I'm totally happy playing Joseph of Arimathea. I played him in 2010 already. It's a wonderful role. <laughs> Two biblical figures, Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea, were advocates of Jesus among the High Council. How did the Passion Play actually come about? In 1634 there was the plague and the Thirty Year War. People vowed that if God spared them from the plague, then every ten years they'd perform the Passion of Christ. So you keep a promise every 10 years, forever? Yes, so far, since 1634. And what about the beard and hair? Is that something you like or dislike? It comes with the territory. It's nice. It's something you wouldn't normally do, but for us in Oberammergau, part of the tradition is letting our hair grow out once every 10 years. It may look a little weird, but there's something special about it. The Passion Play runs from May to October. There are about 100 performances, which about half a million visitors come to see. They stroll through the small town, stop for a bite to eat and buy souvenirs. These shirts remind me of bands when they were on tour. And here are all the tour dates. The souvenir shops stay busy with so many tourists. But what do the hairdressers do during the Passion Play, when everyone is growing out their hair? Actually, hairdressers shouldn't have anything to do here. But they're open and I have an appointment here. Hello, Lucas. Hi, Lucas. It's great to have you. Thanks for your time. To be honest, I would have thought the hair salons would be closed because people are letting their hair grow out. So why would a hairdresser even be open these days? Long hair needs to be cared for too. We do trims and take care of people's beards. The hair on the upper lip can be a difficult job. Could you trim my hair while we talk? Sure. But not too much. Do you also take part in the Passion Play? Yes, I live here, and my birthright means I'm allowed to perform. And how do you do that? It's busy here in the salon. How do you manage the play and work? I'm part of the entry into Jerusalem. I'm at the theater at two o'clock and finished at four. Then I come back. Men let their hair and beard grow out. Do women also have to do this for the Passion Play? Yes, I've grown my hair out. Women grow theirs too as much as they can. So, Gabi, normally I don't have a beard, but I let it grow a bit for the Passion Play. How do you think it looks? It's clean. Very striking. What is it like after the Passion Play? Does everyone come and have their hair cut? Yes, that's really something special. After the last performance, there's a real run on the hairdressers. It lasts a week or two, then it's all over.
Gabi did a good job. Now I make my way to the museum. The facade's been covered over with costumes from the last Passion Place in 2000 and 2010. Very sustainable. You can buy a rope panel like this. They cost 220 euros each. You can find them online. Inside the museum, this cord catches my eye. It's one continuous rope of hair connecting each exhibition room to the next. All the hair runs one and a half kilometers through the museum. And it leads me to Klaus Vogt, the artist who makes this cord out of hair, water and curd soap. How long have you been doing this and why? Why exactly? That I don't know. It was just fun. In Australia I met some indigenous people who worked with hair and I thought, I could do that. Here in Oberammergau, we end up with huge mountains of hair every 10 years. In 2000, I started collecting the hair that performers in the Passion Play gave me. From each individual's hair, I made a string. Now take that and pull. Like tug of war. Wow! Oh, that cuts into the hand. <laughs> See? It's so tightly woven that it won't come apart. Could you smuggle in a hair of mine and immortalize me in this work? Of course. Your hair is too short, really. It doesn't matter, just for the feeling. Somehow so that you can't see it. But my hair is included. Your hair is in there. Yours is the darker one. Now you're in this string. Thank you, Klaus, for taking the time. Happy felting. I have to go. Look here and smile. If you're ever in Oberammergau, hang around for a few extra days. The landscape is just great. This lift takes me to a mountain, the so-called Kolbensattel, which is 1,250 meters high. A surprise awaits me at the top. The Alpine Coaster, a summer toboggan run, super long, almost three kilometers. That was great! <laughs> Oberammergau is a very special place, typically Bavarian, but somehow not. I mean, where else does half the village take part in a theater? People don't go to hairdressers for months and guests from all over the world come to visit every 10 years. Well, that only happens here in Oberammergau. Bye-bye, see you next time and please subscribe to our channel, DW Travel.